Speedrunning Super Mario Sunshine has never been just about platforming, using blood, and going through secrets. Luck element has been a curse to Sunshine Speedrunners for years, and will always be. In this video, let's take a look at one of the most known luck-based boss fights in Super Mario Sunshine, Gimpu. This video was made in collaboration with Noki Doki. He is very knowledgeable of the game. I recommend checking out his YouTube channel. Link is in the description. When Kimpu appears at the start of the fight, you have to spray him and he'll spin slots. Now you have to hope for fruits, because fruits are the only way to damage Kimpu, and you need to damage him three times. When he gets fruits, you have to use pepper to make his tongue burn, then throw any fruit towards him to damage him. Now you have to make him spin slots again. When he has given you any result, you will need to either wait for Kimpu to despawn, kill enemies, or just simply avoid bubbles, because he immediately despawns. After this, Kimpu can give you fruits, but you need to hope for it again, obviously. And that's how Kimpu white cast normally. Now it will become very interesting. Kimpu looks very random, but he forces the slots result a lot of the time. He can give you an extra cycle which loses time in speedruns, but what is an extra cycle and how do you know is it an extra cycle? Let's take a look at the demonstration of three different fights. A pineapple is a cycle when you can damage him, a question mark is an extra cycle, and a cross out pineapple is a forced extra cycle. Essentially this is a cycle that always happens after the fruits, this cannot be mixed with a regular extra cycle. Here you can see three different fights from Kim Boo. With these three different results, number 2 is the best outcome, there were no extra cycles happening during the fight. Number 1 had 1 extra cycle, and number 3 had 3 extra cycles. When you know an extra cycle happens, you can cancel it instantly by going below Kimpu after you have seen what Kimpu is about to give you. But with forced extra cycle you need to act differently. You have to wait for Kimpu to spawn enemies or bubbles, otherwise you won't be able to get fruits from Kimpu. This is easily misunderstood by new runners, and we hope this clears that. Every time you spin the slots, Kimpu can decide to be nice. If Mario has 4 HP or more, he does so 60% of the time and tries to give you fruit. At 2 or 3 HP, he still has a 60% chance to help, but with coins this time. Finally, at 1 HP, he will help 90% of the time, again trying to give coins. However, if his gift is already the last thing that he spawned, he will give enemies instead. Coin cycles have the additional restriction that you can only get 3 throughout the fight, after which they will be replaced with stews. Now, if he doesn't decide to be nice, the outcome depends on the middle slot. Since it spins at the fixed speed for a fixed time, you can easily predict where it will stop by looking at it before it starts spinning. A question mark becomes a fruit, a stew becomes a question mark, a coin becomes a stew, and a fruit becomes a coin. This means if you have enough HP and you see a question mark in the middle, you know you will get fruit, since either Kimpu is nice and gives it to you, or the middle slot will give it to you anyway. The other two slots will follow suit, with a few exceptions. If the middle slot indicates the last thing Kimpu spawned, they will give you question marks instead, resulting in bubbles or enemies if said thing was already enemies. If the middle slot shows a coin, and either you have already had your 3 coin cycles, or you have 6 HP or more, you will get bubbles instead. So as you can tell, there is no way to get fruit twice in a row, as the second one will always get replaced with either enemies or bubbles. And yet, recent Tulasis at speedruns, aka Dases, and individual level records do get fruit twice, and even 3 times in a row, so how does it work? The answer is a glitch called Cycle Skip. You see, if you go under Kimpu while the slots are spinning, he will hide as usual, but the slots will keep spinning. This is important because anytime he reappears, the slots are reset to completely random positions, regardless of any normal cycle rules. Which means, you have a 1 in 64 chance of getting any one combination, including 3 pineapples. After that, you have to spray Kimpu again to make him realize the slots have already stopped, which loses 2 seconds to a normal cycle but the ability to skip a forced extra cycle saves about 10 seconds. Getting fruit 3 times in a row simply comes down to using cycle skip twice, which saves 20 seconds, but has a 1 in 4096 chance of happening, just as unlikely as a full odd shiny in the latest Pokemon games. And that is everything we understand about Kimpu. We hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new. Thanks for watching.